With the advent of AI, bad actors and cyber criminals are utilizing deep fake technologies at a growing and alarming rate. In this video, I'm going to highlight eight signs you can watch for to determine if the person you're on a video call with is actually real. But first, let's look at the scope and size of the problem. Think you're not susceptible? Honestly, think again. These are straight from the headlines. A Hong Kong-based employee of a multinational company received an email from his CFO and it invited him to a meeting. And he said at first he was suspicious of the email, but then he decided to join the video. In that video call were members of the C-suite of this organization. And at the end of the call, they told him that he had to go to different banks, withdraw money, and send them to the accounts that uh, he, he provided. And he did so. It was a $25 million theft from this company that all began with the spear phishing uh, email attempt that an employee responded to. They attended this deep fake video session, believing that they were talking to executives from the company. They sent the money and then the scam was uncovered. It's not only businesses that scammers are targeting, it's folks like you and I, and like a South Korean woman who received a direct message from Elon Musk. And over the course of a week to two weeks, they started developing a romantic conversation together. And then he invited her to a video call. And she attended the video call with Elon Musk. Afterwards, about a week afterwards, um, this scammer posing as Elon Musk using deepfakes told her that he was out of country and he was in a difficult situation and he wondered if she would help him out by sending him $50,000 that he would immediately repay with interest. And of course, I think you know how this story goes, she sent the money only later to find out it was not the real Elon Musk after all. To give you an idea of the size and scope of the problem, looking at 2022 versus 2023, the U.S. alone experienced a 3,000% increase in bad actors and cyber criminals utilization and fraudulent attempts. Over 2 million have been recorded worldwide, spanning across 224 countries. Deepfakes are being used for blackmail purposes, for investment scams, for financial fraud, for identity theft. And because we're seeing such growth from 2022 to 23, we can expect that we're going to see similar trends, if not higher trends, throughout 2024. What's important to note is these are not isolated incidents. They're combined with phishing, spear phishing, vishing attempts. Remember that there's a high likelihood, and I know this is scary, but let's call it for what it is, very high likelihood due to the number of data breaches that have occurred in the United States alone, that yours and my data has not just been breached, but is being sold on the dark web for significant monies, which means these bad actors and cyber criminals know things about you. They know who you are. They have email addresses, most likely. They may know where you bank. They may even know where you live. All that information plus more is available and purchased on the dark web. Remembering as well that there are now cyber crime as a service products that are being sold on the dark web to aspiring cyber criminals that make it easier for them to employ these scam tactics, these fraudulent tactics, and to look more professional as they do it. Thankfully, MIT is taking steps not just to identify deep fakes, but to teach us how we can identify them as well. And I'm going to go through the eight recommendations, the eight signs you should look for to indicate whether or not the person you're, person you're on a video with is actually real. First and foremost, pay very close attention to their face. High-end deep fakes almost always include facial transformations. And if something doesn't look right on first glance, it possibly isn't right. This is an example of a deep fake photo. Pretty convincing, right? 
But if you look a little more closely, there's a couple things you can notice. The first is the lighting underneath Tom Cruise's hairline. And as you've probably figured out, it's not really Tom Cruise in this photo. It's a deep fake using Tom Cruise's face. But the second thing that raises some attention is the size of his head, which seems disproportionately larger than it should be based on the photo. So those are two indicators as you take in the whole scope of the photo or video you're looking at. Number two, pay attention to cheeks and foreheads. Is the skin too smooth or is it too wrinkly? Furthermore, does the agedness of the skin match the agedness of the eyes and the hair? If not, that can be an indicator as well. Can you tell which is the real Barack Obama and which is artificially generated? I'll tell you what, I've been looking at this picture, these photos side by side, for the last five or so minutes. I have a difficult time telling. What's your guess? If you guess the one on the right, you would be correct. Number three, pay close attention to the eyes and eyebrows. And do the shadows appear in a natural looking way? Or do they appear suspect to you? Let's have a look at some photos. Have a look at these six photos. On the left-hand panel, the left-hand photos are real. The right-hand ones are deepfakes. And I purposely pulled up, you know, very bad deepfake photos uh, for purposes of education. But you can see, if you look to the right-hand side, what's being identified and how to look for what's natural versus what isn't. In that top row, non-uniform resolution, right? The darkness around the eyes is a potential giveaway. In the second case, uh, in the middle, unnatural edges, right? And you can see where that's highlighted. And the coloration in the third photo should raise some flags. So looking for anything and everything that looks unusual may trigger you to know that you're looking at a deep fake and not something real. The fourth tool in your toolkit is to pay close attention to the glasses. Some of the things you'll notice as I move my head around is the glare from my glasses moves appropriately, right? So you want to look First of all, is the glare appropriate? And secondly, if it is, does it move when the person's uh, face moves? Then thirdly, AI has um, challenges recreating things like lenses and the arms that tuck behind your ears. Let's take a look at a photo and you can see what I mean. As you may have guessed, this photo is a deep fake. Let's look at five indicators and granted, they're not easy to spot, but when you begin to train yourself in what to look for, they become more and more evident to you. Number one, often in video and photo deepfake images, they're going to use blurry backgrounds. But if you look behind that person at the lighting, the lighting doesn't always make sense. Number two, when you take a look at their eyes, they may have what they call the deepfake stare. So look at how genuine, how believable, how realistic their eyes look to you. Number three, if you take a look at the glasses, the frames and the arms are in different positions. Look on the left side of the face. You don't see an arm coming off the frame, but you do on the right, and you should be able to see it in this photo. Number four, jewelry. There's one earring, not two, and two should be visible. And number five, look at the neckline. There's a collar on the right side. There's no collar on the left. I know it's a lot to take in on the initial image, but when you start to train your eye to look for discrepancies, you'll see them in deep fakes. The final four signs to look out for. Number one, pay attention to the hair. Deep fake technology in its current state, could evolve certainly, but in its current state, is not very effective at hair transformation. So does the hair look natural? Number one. Number two, if, are there moles or distinguishing features on the face? If so, do those look natural to you? Pay attention to blinking. Is the person in the video that you're engaging with, do they blink enough or do they blink too much? Take note of that as well. And finally, watch their mouth, watch their lips carefully. Deep fake technologies in their current state rely on lip syncing. And if there's a disconnect between what you're hearing and what you're seeing, even a slight disconnect, that can be an indicator as well. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into deep fakes. And 
What's important to know is cybercrime as a service last year was a $1.6 billion industry. And literally, criminals are creating out-of-the-box solutions that can be licensed for as little as $20 per month that allows aspiring criminals or established criminal enterprises to utilize these very effective tools. They're getting better and better at how they disguise their deceptions. And we need to get better and better in terms of spotting them and finding them. We need to up our knowledge. We need to stay safe. And that's why I put this video together. I want to thank you for joining me today. My name is Philip Macko. I am a five-time published author and host of the, oh, that way, host of the Muddy Waters podcast and YouTube series dedicated to calling out scams, scammers, and financial fraud. I hope you got something from this episode. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll share this with others if you think it can benefit them. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you have an excellent day.